guys. Hello. Do you eat breakfast? Sometimes. I need to. Ah, for this episode of uh, <laughs> Nick on Gangster's Cannon, uh, we will be trying a different flavor, four different flavors of pop tarts. Yeah. Uh, my name is Brian Lee, to my left. Brian Brian. To my right. <laughs> oh, spoiled it. Right. It's really uh, Christopher. Yes. Um, well, it's not a blind. I said, this isn't a blind taste test. No. Uh, we have four different uh, pop tarts in front of us, and four different pop tarts in front of us. Yeah. Um, but they're all pretty unique looking, so yeah. we know which one is which already. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But we're gonna uh, taste them and then rank them. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the flavors. Yeah, please. All right. Uh, so we have pop tarts, frosted red velvet cupcake. It says it's back. Oh, I'm Whoa. sorry. <laughs> now, real quick. Do you like red velvet cupcakes? I hate anything red velvet. Okay. Do you uh, red velvet? Uh, I, if I recall, I do. I like okay. red velvet cupcake I'm, things. I don't, I'm indifferent. Okay. Don't don't love it. Don't hate it. Okay. Okay. Yuck. Um, frosted crisp apple. Interesting. Okay. Frosted strawberry milkshake. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> and then, last but not least, Fruit Loops limited. Limited edition oh, flavor. Uh, we debated whether we were going to toast these in the toaster yes. or not. Yes. Uh, but we opted. Christopher read on one of them that. Uh, on all of them. Uh, it says you can either prepare it in the toaster, in the microwave, or in the freezer. Ooh. Uh, I've never now, had a frozen Pop Tart. I've never met a psycho that microwaves a pop tart i've never True. no never done that it makes sense but i've never done it yeah no. uh i think i've only ever put one in a toaster oven once and i didn't really care for it warmed i feel like maybe the chocolate flavors might be good from the freezer i think any yeah. of them would be good from a freezer yeah I, I, yeah, I, yeah i feel like i've just never even thought about yeah, it I mean, I oh, yeah, me either. yeah it makes yeah. zero sense but i feel like in the freezer it'd be more of a dessert in the toaster, it's more of a breakfast. I understand. And it makes zero sense. Zero <laughs> sense, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, See, so, okay. Have you ever put a Snickers in the freezer? Yes. See, oh, that's, but that's what I kind of think, because, like, I think that would be just, like a more of a dessert. So in the freezer, it's more of a, like a dessert. But like that. can you put a Snickers in a toaster to make it breakfast? Ooh, I feel like that would make a big mess. Uh, not too long. <laughs> I bet I could rig There's something up. There's a crumb up. tray. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's all caked. Yeah. I, mean, oh, dude, I mean, I think I've talked about it here. When I was my 200-pound Brian, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, every single day for lunch in high school, ice cream Snickers. Every single day. I would buy a bag of Doritos from the vending machine, a brownie from the vending machine, and from the drink vending machine, I think it was like a, a pink lemonade. And that was my summer school lunch every day before freshman year. You. Oh, God. We're good. Is there a flavor that we wanted to start with? How about we go with the brown one? Uh, it's I red. Think it's red <laughs> <laughs> no, brown. But I'm, yes, sure. I will say brown. You know, for someone who enjoys brown so much, I figure you would recognize brown. <laughs> You're very, like, when I picture someone wearing brown shoes, I think of oh. you. <laughs> what do I As you wear brown shoes now. That's right. And your bag brown. So just for like tasting reasons, I'm going to crack it in half and eat like very, from the inside see, out. Very I'm smart. going for a realistic life experience. Okay. You know what? But I'm, I'm going like, to do both. The The corner is always just like gross right, dry. Right, dough. right. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think doing both. Uh, I don't know about this very much. That <laughs> tastes like red velvet. You like it? Not very much. I don't think I would like this for breakfast, though. I don't mm. like... It's cream in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I... Way too sweet. Yeah, like, personally, like I don't know if I'd ever buy this, but it's like... It's literally Pop-Tart and Red Velvet. Like, that is the yeah. taste. Like, if, if, if I didn't know what a Pop-Tart was... And someone gave this to me, like, it would be just a... Like, it would be like a Red Velvet cake. Like, or like a pastry. Of course, I mean, that's what it is. But right. like I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider this a pop tart. Knowing it's a pop tart, like this doesn't, the it's too soft. I feel. I think it because it's red velvet. I mean, I'm here the other one. I think ones, the but consistency I, is. You think so? Pop -tart, yeah. Yeah. I just I, I I haven't had a pop tart. 
right. in so long that now, I just, if it's in the toaster, it'll be a little bit more crisp. Mm, yeah, yeah. Speaking of crisp, I think we should do crisp apple next. Sure. Do we know which one that is? I think, I think we do. One. The plain white right. one. Yes. Yeah. Where it Did, looks like the frosting has run off on all of ours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you take a bite of the middle of your velvet? Oh, you might I took quite a few yeah. bites. Okay, okay, cool. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page with all the different. Now, that was a lot of work, so I think I'm going to do the crisp. Yeah, yeah. Though. See, now that makes me think of a pop tart. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very much so. See, that's fantastic. The crust is completely different from the red velvet crust. I agree. That's why I'm saying, like, the red velvet is but not, it's, more, it, it's not a cake. Right. It's more cakey. It's more cakey. Mm hmm. I like this one. This does taste more like the standard yes. pop tart. The edges, very dry, though, like yeah. after the apple one. Um, but the filling, might, I think it almost makes up for it. The filling is very good. Uh, I think we should do the... Fruit, uh, fruit Loop or Strawberry? No, I say we say Fruit Loop for last. I'm okay. with Sam. So this is Strawberry Milkshake? Yes. You hear what I said? I, I'm, I'm with the Sam. The sprinkles are like very half-assed on mine. Let me see yours. <laughs> so, yeah, I am visually. <laughs> mine's like mine's yeah, not you're, so great. You're, you're, but you're even sad. then, mine's well, not in great. all of ours too. It's like the frosting is like super uneven too. Yeah, not you, you know when you really look at them, they don't do a very good job. It see it, this has like the same texture oh, as like the frosting red velvet. does not yeah. look good, and it looks like bubble gum almost. It does <laughs> it's like a hubba bubba. I don't <laughs> want hubba bubba. <laughs> hubba bubba bubba. That's weird. Oh, no. That's weird. Yeah. It's too creamy. Yeah. That's that's the exact where I was like, that's very creamy. I oh, fucking messed over here. <laughs> yeah, man. I prefer like the other strawberry one. Like, I remember that one more of like the fruit flavor. This is a fake fruit. Mm. I don't care for it. Out of the three we've had, I would say all Pop Tart is fake, well, whatever flavor. Yeah, but like this is but like this is definitely creamy. Yeah, it's like the fakest. Uh, maybe the creamy. Yep, yeah. with the hard frosting on top, it's kind of birthday cake. This is worse than the velvet for me. I'd prefer to have the velvet one. At least the that is not pretending to be a Pop Tart. It's a cake, piece of cake. Like this is cakey, but it's mm. I don't like it. I don't. Either the same. In fact, if anything, I'd say the red velvet Pop Tart. Tastes more like red velvet mm. than the uh, strawberry milkshake. Ooh, yeah, tastes yeah. Like uh, that's why, that's why I'd rather have the red velvet, even though I don't like red velvet. I'd rather have that one because this one just tastes like fake all around. Like it doesn't gotcha. taste like a pop tart. Yes, it doesn't taste I, like I, a milkshake. It tastes like it's just uh, yeah. I uh, yeah. <laughs> Solid uh, son of Sam reference there. Uh, yeah, I like your glasses. <laughs> that's, a, that's weird. <laughs> The inside frosting is very pink. I'm not sure. Like, well, why are they doing this with the frosting? Why, yeah, are, they, why very, are they making it? Like, right. the, like well, a, the inside of the apple one. The apple one, yeah, awesome. yeah. It's like they're trying to use like cake frosting. Oh, my God. Oh, no. That is fucking fantastic. <laughs> that's pretty intense. That's awesome. Holy fuck, dude. Like That's, that's would, fruit that loops. That is fruit loops, dude. <laughs> I eat the whole box. Oh my god. What kind of fucking sorcery? It's like whatever. That must be just like ground out. Yeah, it's, right. it's what, whatever flavoring they use for Fruit Loops is they just added it to the goop. This. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I, do we all agree that's the favorite? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. This is number one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Wow. I would say for the most part, all of these flavors taste like the thing they're supposed to be. So red velvet tastes like red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. uh, strawberry milkshake tastes like a strawberry milkshake. Apple, apple, Fruit Loops. So I will I will give props to Pop Tarts. For the fact that like they nail the flavors. Mm. They, 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 yeah, they, they do nail now, the flavors. The question yeah. is, do you want these flavors for breakfast? Yeah. A whole different question. Right. Yeah. The ones that have fruit in it or marketed as fruit, those are that would be good for breakfast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even the even the what? Oh, man, how many times? Even the fruit loop one. I would mark it as a breakfast right. one. Right. Yeah. But the, the cereal one. Yeah. Right. The velvet one, the um, milkshake True. one, I would say, I would be like, look That's at our, our dessert new, flavor. Yeah, yeah, dessert flavored Pop Tart or whatever, or snack flavored Pop Tart. Yeah. I wouldn't be like, hey, great, you have this great strawberry milkshake breakfast one. So I would say, I'm kind of torn between. So, Bert Loop is one. Yes. 
I, would I, say, I think we all agree on that, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. I ate all of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say crisp apple would be two. Yes. Agreed. Yes. Um, I'm. I don't. Mm. So fruit loop. There you go. <laughs> then I would do red velvet. Yeah. And last. I would agree. Milkshake. I agree. That's how I would do it. Because and but that's like I would say milkshake tastes like milkshake, but it just like it's a, not like a, like a bad I, milkshake. Here's yeah. the thing. I just went back in. That the red velvet is so rich. But that's how red velvet tastes. <sighs> I would not want that for breakfast. No. It's way too sweet. Mm -hmm. I would rather eat the red velvet one over the milkshake one, even though I don't really like red velvet. But in Pop-Tart form, it tastes better than the strawberry milkshake one. Can we sit on this? Yeah, Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, red velvet and milkshake, I mean, they're kind of... Kind of a toss off. They're, br- they're both overly sweet, yeah. especially if you're having it for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So if you're going to do one for breakfast, do either the Fruit Loop or the apple. You want a dessert, grab yeah. yourself a milkshake one or the red velvet. Now yep. I'll tell you what. Okay. When I went to Woodman's, there was mm-hmm. a lot of flavors. So mm-hmm. We might have to do a tournament. All right, sure. Yeah. I Do a good. sweet 16. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet 16. Ooh. <laughs> overly sweet 16. Oh, <laughs> My heart is... Diabetes 16. Is flying right now. Yeah, I mean... I, I, my energy just spiked. Oh, car like, I, I, I love I'm, it. I'm like, I'm going to go run a mile. Like, this is crazy. Well, let's... I am going <laughs> to the marathon. The <laughs> I'm going to lift your house up. <laughs> um, Till next time? Yes, yeah. do the hard work so you don't have to. Until next time. Good journey. Good journey. If you like Nick Cage and horrible great movies from the Canon Group Films, then like, comment, and subscribe for Nick Uncaged Podcast.